Weather forecast this weekend suggests that it will be wet. Qualifying, however, will be dry, but with rain picking up in the evening, the drivers can expect a full wet Grand Prix. Dosic's Fusion, however, says that this could well be a hoax and knows that weather forecasts not always are 100% correct. He said in an interview that he's very happy with his pace around Canada and will continue to practice with the dry. Will that, however, be an issue for him? And how will the rain affect drivers this weekend? We'll find out at the Season 13 Canadian Grand Prix. Hello and welcome. This evening we take a break from Europe and we go to the continent of North America on the Ile Notre Dame on the St. Lawrence Seaway. Currently it's cloudy and qualifying but you do join me STB Maldi here for the STB Racing League Season 13 Canadian Grand Prix live from the circuit Gilles Villeneuve named after the infamous Gilles Villeneuve. Um, a Canadian legend in Formula One. We're well, here then, it's round seven of the World Championship of season 13 in STB. And uh, we've got Junior Fastboy here on a lap in qualifying. Uh, Canada always, always proves to be a track which can offer battles, it can offer rain, it can offer action at every single spot on the circuit. And we've definitely seen that in the real life 2011 race, which was the longest race recorded in Formula One. So it's really, really, really special to come to Montreal. The championship then, currently five points separate Toss Fusion and IS Hamilton 44. So it will be very interesting to see how that, um, yeah, how that uh, develops later uh, coming on later on to the season but Canada could well be an important race in that fight okay yes we are going to be having an interview now uh, here in Canada qualifying we're going to be interviewing Spaniard Faloru 810 I can finally say his name after six weeks of struggling uh, but he now joins us in the party here for a quick interview Faloru if you'd like to include your audio I'm going to give you a quick interview here in qualifying then you can uh, get yourself back on your way um, on the track. So you currently sit in P number two. Uh, am I right in thinking that your lap was set on a... Yeah, yeah it was set on uh, Hypersofts. So, obviously, um, what, what's the gap between the uh, the Hypers and the Ultras? Is it is it a large gap between those two tyres? Well, it isn't a big gap since, I mean, it, it is a pretty short gash circuit, so the, the difference for me between these two tires is like, I don't know, like a half a second or something like that, so it isn't a big gap, okay. but there is a big gap between the tire age of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, so as I said, you're currently in P number two. Um, who would you yes. class as your closest rival was going into this Canadian Grand Prix? Um, I mean, this isn't this isn't a big, a good track for me, but I think Free Fusion is going to be a a really tough rival because I think he's the fastest in in general. I mean, he's he's got like the raw speed, and Ice Hamilton is always you know doing great in the races but he isn't as fast as uh, Fusion and I think that's like my biggest rival and I've also seen that Unicorn has put like some great laps in the last two Grand Prix so yeah, he's also a big rival yeah okay. he he did pole on Monaco so yeah, yeah. That, impressive that was, that was an incredible lap um, yeah it was obviously you, we, we've got 18 drivers in Canada um, and I believe there is rain forecasted for the race. How is that going to play out in... Really? Well, yes, in terms of... Well, I don't know. It, it's speculated. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, how is that I'm pretty bad the in the rain. How is that, that going to play in, into the hands of drivers uh, and you know, collisions? How, how, how do you think the rain could affect that? 
Well, rain is it is a pretty tough condition. I mean, in my case, I mean, I can't drive as fast as I would like in in the past um, as in the past uh, game, because I I um, I've just you know like and it's pretty difficult because um, rain is always pretty okay, slippery. Pretty sl oh wow, a pretty good lap for him. Um, it is pretty slippery always, and you know traction is really difficult. And you know in this circuit the walls are pretty near, so oh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be yeah, man. It's like a Monaco, but it's a fast Monaco. I would name oh, I it. Don't think, I don't think it's it, it, <laughs> I don't think it's quite Monaco, but oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, uh, man. Have but, you had you any know, issues with the walls? Are you okay with Sometime, that? yeah. I mean, I'm a pretty aggressive driver, as you might have seen on the yeah. past races. So yeah, I am. I have some issues, but I hope I can have a good race here. I mean, I I feel good, so yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, Flora, and yeah, I wish thank you, you the best of luck in this Canadian Grand Prix. Thank you. Evening. And we may even see one podium. I don't know, but if. I don't well, know. hopefully, hopefully I win. <laughs> hopefully, it's not the question. Uh, good luck, and hopefully I'll see you on the podium. If not, have a great one. Of course, new DRS zone down this straight, so it's going to give him a little bit more, less drag. Me into the chicane. And I think he may... May have invalidated his lap time there. Blow you down the straight then. Let's see what he's going to do. It's P5. No, P4. P4, sorry. Fusion only into P4 there for the Canadian Grand Prix. So Fusion struggling in qualifying. Mercury then, P9 for him, decent qualifying, not what he wanted, he, of course he wanted higher, but P9 is still a decent, decent result. Your grid for the Canadian Grand Prix is, first Urban Unicorn, second Bullseye, third Eke, fourth Tarsex Fusion, fifth Faloru, sixth Ice of the Curse, sixteenth, seventh VSR Kushmania, eighth Otis Greek, ninth Alaris Mercury, Running off your top 10 is Junior Fastboy. Just outside the top 10 will be Ayers Hamilton, 44. 12th will be Ayers Raisen. 13th will be New Driver Yi, 22. 14th will be STV Matty. 15th will be AOR Andrew, New Driver as well. 16th will be DJ Danny. 17th will be Bourne Buckley. And rounding up the back of the grid will be Dennis BKK. The drivers line up then. And your formation lap starts in Canada. And as you can see, it is... Not full wet it's like 2011, but it is intermediate weather. It is wet conditions for round seven. The Canadian Grand Prix is here. And it is proving to be an incredible circuit for battles. You've got so many straights. You've got so many chicanes around this circuit as well. And of course, in this race, you've got 18 drivers battling it, battling it out for the positions. Of course, a wet race is going to prove difficult uh, for the drivers. Uh, poor visibility, poor grip, poor traction. Everything in turn one could well be an absolute masterpiece. We could well have an incredible... This could be an incredible, that one. Um... <laughs> for these, so these drivers do need to make sure that they get off to a good start, get the traction going, get the traction sorted, and make sure that they're in full command of their cars, because it's very difficult to lose control in the rain. So then, Urban Unicorn is going to come down into the chicane now, and he's going to uh, come through the chicane nice and slowly, warming up those intermediate compound tyres now, and he's gonna, he's gonna go now. 
and he's going to fill that spot on P1, on the grid. Here in Canada. Second will be Bullseye, 403. Third, EK. Sixth, then, Ayers Leclerc. Seventh will be VSR Kushmania. Eighth will be Fotis Greek. Ninth will be Alaris Mercury. Tenth, Junior Fastboy. Eleventh, Ayers Hamilton. Ayers Raisin there. Thirteenth, U22. Fourteenth, STV Matty. Fifteenth, AOR Andrew. Sixteenth, DJ Danny. Seventeenth, Bourne Buckley. And just coming into his box now, Dennis BKK. Here we go. And you can see the green light there. You can see the marshals. You can see the free light. You can see the four light. And you can see the five light. And you can see now, see the drivers. It is lights out and away they go. Urban Unicorn gets off to a decent start, but there's some action going on at the back there. You can see now we've got the forced India for low. We've the inside. A little bit of contact there between the Haas and the Mercedes. Drivers just going through, trying to avoid each other now. You've got two forced Indias battling there. Three and five. AK in a P4 now. He's going to get under pressure by the forced India. Has to let him through. And now you've got the McLaren there trying to take evasive action. From that, now there's drivers just trying to stay nice and steady here in Canada. Got the McLaren now being chased by the Renault of a junior fast boy. So it is decent, decent start here in Canada. But it's not a decent start because there's been a spin. There's been a spin at the back there. You've got IS Raisin. IS Raisin has span out of the Canadian Grand Prix. And um, there you go, he's, he's out of it, he's out of it. But Urban Unicorn now is going to be chased by Bullseye. And for low there as well, it, it's all action. There's three drivers going side by side. The McLaren, the Renault and the Mercedes now. Here we go, three wide down the straight. This could well end badly. IS Leclerc then, battling with Junior Fastboy down the straight. Here we go, got Tosic Fusion up the inside of the McLaren now and he's got the position done on Ayers Leclerc and now he's going to try and go on to Junior Fastboy now the Ferrari's going to follow through as well and everyone's going to follow through this is incredible here we go then Junior Fastboy chased by Fusion here in Canada coming through turn number two now he's going to follow him closely behind the Renault and raise them there 18 seconds behind, Den uh, behind DJ Danny he's going to be fuming Junior Fastboy then still under threat from Tosex Fusion and there you go. Dennis VKK, I believe, picks up the first penalty of the session. But now Fuse has made a mistake. And that's going to give IS Leclerc the opportunity. This is an incredible opportunity here for IS Leclerc. Here we go. Down the straight now. Side by side with the Mercedes. Down the inside of the chicane. But Fuse is going to give him just enough space. Fuse is going to go to the inside. And he's done it. And Leclerc's hit the wall there. Leclerc's hit the wall. No damage, it looks like, for the McLaren. I don't think so anyway. And now he's got... The horse of Ayers Hamilton behind him. Another yellow flag. Junior Fastboy. Junior Fastboy's made a mistake with the horse of Eke. And now we've got the Salva of DJ Danny at the back there. So Swinks happened down at the back. Here, use overtake. Use overtake. K00 there down into the hairpin. Um, possible investigation there for those two drivers, but now back on the action. IS Hamilton behind his championship rival. Plus Fusion. It's all kicking off there. We got the the Toro Rosso of Fotis Greek and uh, no, the Toro Rosso behind Fotis Greek now. LRS Mercury had a dismal Monaco race. He's gone further than he did last week. Dennis VKK then follows through. But the main battle that I think we're going to be looking at here is between LRS Mercury. And he's made a mistake on the wall there. Matty's made a mistake on the turning as well. Matty needs to try and stabilise the car. And you've got the horse on the inside. That's a mega move for Dennis VKK. What was he thinking there going up the inside? What was he thinking there? What was he thinking? He just went completely bonkers into that braking zone. And now he's down in a P17. So LRS Mercury is going to be absolutely fuming in that cockpit. He is down in a P12 and behind Bourne Buckley. U22 then. 
behind STB Matty. Action everywhere here in Canada. Belobu then follows Kushmania. This is for P3. Looking through then, Fusion in P5. IS Hamilton, 44 in P6. Got two McLarens, Fotis Greek and IS Leclerc in P7 and 8. So we're going to check this out. We're also going to check out the battle behind between Matty and Yi 22. Who's out of the race? Yi 22's retired out of the Grand Prix and Dennis BK K's out as well. What has happened to Yi 22? He's out of the race. He's out of the Canadian Grand Prix, and so is Dennis VK, VKK. He's had enough there. And there you go. He's fuming. He's absolutely fuming. Rain then looks to be picking up here in Canada, and it looks like uh, Fotis Greek GTA's pace is not picking up, because Ayers Leclerc now is going to be in that slipstream. He's going to pull to that inside line. It's going to be a pretty straightforward move for the Frenchman. I don't know for the Greekman, actually, because uh, Fotis Greek, that was actually behind him. And Fotis Greek got the overtake done back on him then. So there you go. P7 for him. He's uh, got up a new position and passed his teammate there. So that's pretty decent uh, for the Greek driver. Matt then behind Isaac Leclerc. I think Isaac Leclerc is struggling due to his uh, front ring. And there you go. Into the pit lane. He comes in. Matt to make a mistake there. He has to yield. He will have to give the place back to uh, Paul Borkley there. He's, he's gained advantage. Um... From the chicane there, cutting the chicane. And Bourne Buckley is going to be in full command of that then. So there you go. Behind his teammate, STB Matty then. Matty looks to be struggling. He looks to be really struggling at the moment. Bourne Buckley did say that he wanted rain. He's got it. But he's not really taking advantage of it, to be honest. He's only in P9 at the moment, so... Needs to get a hurry on if he's to uh, try and get something from this Grand Prix. Of course, started near the back of the grid. P17 it was, I believe. Really the chicane there. Matt's got a penalty, but he's also made a mistake coming on uh, at the exit. And he's ready to pounce his ball Buckley on his teammate. Up the inside! That's a Ricardo move and a half there. Up the inside goes Born Buckley. And he's done it. He's absolutely left him for chips there, but has he? Matt's, come, Matt's coming back at him then. Down the straight, side by side. The two, the two Ferraris then. You've got the Toro Rosso behind as well. Looking in, that is a, that is a, that is a good lap there from Urban Unicorn. 120 uh, dead. And Bourne Buckley's going to have to cut the corner there to try and get past his teammate. Well, that wasn't very good for him. And um, there you go. Bourne Buckley up in a P8 then. And Matty may have to yield from LRS Mercury, who is behind him. And through the trees then, Matt just closing him, up, closing him off there. Oh, and Matt's made a mistake. He's, he's absolutely messed it. He's absolutely destroyed that corner there. And now he's got DJ Danny right on the back of him now. Matty is in trouble. Matty is in trouble here in Canada. He's made some sort of mistake or he's losing some sort of grip and there you go he's he, he's absolutely at it now and dj danny is right on the back of the ferrari now and Eke's right on the back of danny all kicking off here in canada you do fast boy then behind Eke. some sort of there was some sort of collision earlier on in the grand prix between these two so they didn't need to watch out but junior fast boy and try to go up the inside of the horse and the horse gives him just enough room and Eke there trying to get right around the outside. Don't try, try not to hit the curve. He's going to lose a bit of grip there. But Junior Fastboy now in that slipstream. No DRS. It will be quite difficult. But it won't be difficult because Junior Fastboy got that speed. Got that momentum. Got that traction out of that corner. And he's done it up the inside. Goes the Renault. And he's up now in a P12. And he fights on another day up into that position. Next up is DJ Danny in the Salva. So Junior Fastboy looking pretty strong. And AOR Andrew now at the back of Eke. So, looking pretty strong as well here in, in Canada. So, there you go. DJ Danny then goes defensive into the first chicane of the circuit. 
maybe the second. I don't know if turn one, two is a chicane. But what I do know is that uh, there's some sort of go around the outside of Junior. Fast Boy's done that. What a move. Round the outside there. He's absolutely left in for chips there. And up in the P11 goes Junior Fast Boy. That is an incredible move. Incredible move there. That was what we wanted to see there from Junior Fastboard getting himself up into P11. There you go, Eke. Now on the back of, D of da uh, DJ Danny. Here we go in that slipstream. Goes defensive. Go does DJ Danny close in the door there on Eke. Eke still behind him, still fighting here in Canada. So it's all to play for for Eke now in the slipstream. Fusion, fatty sap of the Grand Prix. We'll have to keep an eye on him between him and Faloru in a moment. Greatest squeaky in that pit lane. Fusion then looking quick here in the rain. Looking quick here in Canada. And then you've got VSR Crush Mania as well, just ahead, I believe. Yes, just ahead. So, yeah, it's it's all it's it's all good. It's all good here in Montreal, especially for this man here, Tossex Fusion. And then into the chicane. Not pushing too hard the car, you know. You don't want to take too much out of it in the rain. The ERS is looking good as well. You don't, I don't think I don't think you use too much in the um, the rain, so it's it's all good for Tiger Fusion at the moment. DJ Dow and Faloru! Faloru, that is a big, big incident there. He's absolutely destroyed his chances of anything in this Grand Prix. He's messed up. He's absolutely destroyed the corner and hit the wall. On the right hand side of the uh, the pit straight. So he's absolutely destroyed that. And he's lost a he's lost a part well, oh, yeah. Half of his front wing basically. And yeah. There you go. Now he's holding up Ice Hamilton. And that's a pretty decent move there from the Haas. He's lost a bit of time to his to his rival Tosix Fusion. But that is commiserations for Faloru there, who's running in such a good position. You know, P4 was 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 going to be incredible. P5, sorry, still. And now he's going to have to pit, and he's going to have to be behind behind uh, those guys. So, yeah, commiserations for him. DJ Danny then, still being chased by EK. And he's made somewhat of a mistake, and now he's got Eke right on the back of him. Now Eke is going to be loving this opportunity, the reigning world champion. Not really in a championship uh, position at the moment, P12 in Canada. As Fusion gets another penalty, Fusion, that could well uh, prove costly in his chances of getting any sort of decent results in uh, Canada here. DJ Danny then, being chased by Eke. Okay, trying to find that move. Can't do it. Oh, and he's hit the wall nearly. He's done exactly the same as Flo Ruby. Yes, I lost any uh, front wing there. So that's pretty decent from him. But now we have got Bullseye 4 0 3. He's proved himself in qualifying, but he's not proved himself in the race yet this season. He, he's crashed in basically every race that he's competed in this season. He's not had good luck this season. And he's now right. He's now reading in Urban Unicorn here. Which is definitely going to be able to play for him. And he got BSR Crush Mania. Could well be getting involved as well. So it's it, this is interesting now. This is what we want to see here in Canada. Crush Mania then. Could well be the time to pounce on the Mercedes. Oh! No, it's not. It's not. He's made a mistake in dirty air, it looks like. And there you go. Loads of people in the pit lane then. Vaughan Buckley, LRS Mercury, Junior Fastboy, EK got two drivers coming into the pit lane then. So. That's pretty mad. AOR Andrew on a set of full wet tyres at the moment. So he's gone for a pretty audacious strategy there. Yep. 
Yeah, so, oh, okay, so they've all gone. Looks like most of these have actually gone onto a set of full wet tyres. So could that, could, could that prove to be, be the move here in, in Canada? Uh, bullseye then makes the into the pit lane. BSR Cushmania stays out. So does Fusion. So does IS Hamilton 44. Big gap actually to the um, people behind. I think I think Matt was one of the people that pit. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Follow Wu then. In that slipstream on Matty, this could well be a pretty straightforward move. Matt into the pit lane then. I don't think he did pit. This could pr this could prove pretty nicely here for Bourne Buckley if he can play his cards right. When all the pit stops end, that, that could be pretty interesting to be honest. Same for Bullseye as well. If the full wets are the tyres to be on. Fusion then looks to be catching up to uh, VSR Cush Mania then. Yeah, this track does look considerably wetter than it did before. Urban Unicorn then into the pit lane. VSR Cush Mania into the pit lane. Fusion into the pit lane. IS Hamilton follows them in. Could this be the lead for Bullseye? Has he made the right choice here in Canada? And at the final corner, was it the right decision for Bullseye? Was it the right decision? They're going to be coming. Was it the right decision for Bullseye? Urban Unicorn takes the lead. Back off Bullseye there. Of course, the pit lane uh, means that uh, the drivers come out of the pit lane, sit in the lead, or, or, you know, but... Oh, and Cushmania's made a mistake. Cushmania has made a mistake here, and that's going to cost him. Ayers Hamilton there overtakes him, and he's up in a P4 now, and back on the chase to Fusion, but uh, Bullseye... He has got those warm, wet tyres ready to pounce on Urban. Down the straight then. Yes, you can see the puddles forming. You can see them. Very big puddles here in Canada. I think we've only had one other wet race this season, and I think it was China, was it? I'm not quite sure. If, if it wasn't China, this could well be the, the first wet race of the season. It's proving to be interesting. Ice Hamilton up the inside is gonna. Oh, he's gonna be forced a bit wide there, actually. Oh, that's a bit of contact. That was that was quite aggressive there from VSR Cushmania. Nice oh, Hamilton there trying to find a way through. And Ayers Hamilton there gets past VSR Cushmania. And he's done it, but is Cushmania going to try and get the overtake back on Ayers Hamilton? Goes defensive, just the harsh driver. Round the outside goes Cushmania, he's going to go across the curb there. That was aggressive. And Mania back up in a P4. Oh, 
Oh, okay. That was quite aggressive. I don't, I, I don't know what's going on between Cushmania and Ice. Oh, and Ice Hamilton. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what's going on between Ice Hamilton and Cushmania. But it looks like there's a lot of tension between those two drivers at the moment. Looks like there's a lot of tension. And oh, Cushmania! Cushmania is out. Cushmania is out of the Canadian Grand Prix. And he, yeah, he's absolutely destroyed that. Don't know what's happened there. It is full course yellow in sector two and three. So, yeah, he's out of the race. Coming back into the pit lane. Maybe he may have a front wing change. Yeah, it's a front wing change there. And off he goes then. Oh! Oh, okay, okay, there's a massive... Whoa, 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 there's a big... Whoa, 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 what's been going on here? Massive amounts of contact between... Okay, this is really confusing at the moment. We've got the, the Renault... Oh, and the, the the McLaren, McLaren's gone off the circuit there. Oh, it's 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 going off, it's going off here in in Canada. Belowu is out of the race. Oh God, that that was it was going off. It was going off here in Canada. I think there was some sort of uh, collision between Fotis Greek and Belowu there. And then, yeah, just, yeah, that, that was, that was messed up, that was. Um, I'm sure the stewards will be able to sort that. Oh, it's Hamilton then, on the back of Matty. It's going to be a pretty straightforward move. No, it won't. Matty defending that. But now, yeah, Ice Leclerc in that slipstream. So he's going to be right. Yeah, he's going to be in that prime position now. Up the inside. Late break in. And he's done it. There you go then. Decent move there. Down the straight, nice and straightforward. Up in a P7, next up is Eke for P6. And then he's got LRS Mercury up ahead of him as well. So it's still all to play for at the moment. When Eke made some sort of mistake on the exit there. And now he's got IS Hamilton right on the back of him, reading him in. Here we go, slipstream for the Haas versus the Haas. Not going for any stupid moves. And the slipstream there. And much better exit uh, than Eke, and he's up into P6. That was that was a not that, that was quite nice. Taking advantage there of Eke's mistake. And then, um, yeah, that was that was quite nice there for Myers Hamilton 44. Next up, LRS Mercury. Now then, the gaps have started to increase, and it looks like there's more yellow flags going on. Fotis Greek. I think he may have crashed it. Yeah, I think he may have crashed it coming out of the chicane. The final corner chicane.
I think that could well be, yep, yeah, that is the end of Fotis Greek's Canadian Grand Prix then. And his ghost goes off to the side of the road. And that is the end of the day for the McLaren. So there you go, Fotis Greek then. He's out of the race. Unfortunate for him. Hopefully he'll be back in France with that result. Junior fast boy then. Coming out that pit lane, but he is, I believe, lapped at the moment. And he's made a mistake. Oh, what a day. What an awful day for Junior fast boy. Just went out that pit lane, I believe. Has made a mistake. He's out of any sort of contention that he had previously. Finishing order from what we have now at the moment. Due to penalties. That's how that's how harsh this track is on its corner cutting. Mercury then. He's gonna have to defend hard from IS Hamilton. And it's a virtual safety car. Bullseye! Bullseye is out of the Canadian Grand Prix. The scenes. The scenes here in Canada. He's out of the race. He's out. Bullseye. The driver who is running. P2. Actually up to Urban Unicorn. And he's stricken there across the circuit. He is out. He's out of the Canadian Grand Prix in virtual safety car here in Canada. That is, that is scenes. The scenes. That is, that is commiserations for him. He, he must be fuming right now. Virtual safety car still out for the drivers. And there you go. Oh, drive through penalty for LRS Mercury. LRS Mercury has got a drive through penalty for speeding under virtual safety car. And Isaac Hamilton has been caught napping. And Isaac Hamilton there. He has got that position on the Tyre Rosso. So now he's up in the P4 now. So Isaac Hamilton. When everything was looking badly for him for losing the lead of the championship by quite a considerable margin over Fusion. Still to play for now in Canada. Mercury then. Great exit out of the final corner. And now he's going to be setting his sights on Matty. I don't think he's going to have enough time to try and catch up to Eke. But, oh, and Matty. Yeah, Matty's absolutely bottled that. And Mercury there. Pretty much a free position. He's up into P6. Leclerc then. On the back of AOR Andrew. AOR Andrew's had a pretty um, pretty chill race at the moment, actually. He's just, he's, just, he's just been racing, really. Hasn't really had much battles, I don't think. And Ives Leclerc's up the inside. But Andrew's going to try and defend that. That, that, was, that was quite aggressive there from the Renault. And now Ice Leclerc is going to be in that slipstream. You're going side by side. That was that was close. That was very close. There between the two drivers. Breaking then. Andrew up the inside. Leclerc going to try and turn in. Not enough. Not enough um, room there. Now Leclerc. Got to keep focused. Gotta keep focused up the inside then. On the inside of the Renault, and he's done it. Um, Andrew there st still making it quite hard with the McLaren, but uh, Leclerc's got through now, and he's up in the P8. Urban Unicorn then finishes his first sector of the final lap of the Canadian Grand Prix. It's been a pretty, a pretty textbook race for him. Nothing to really worry about apart from bullseye's pressure. 
it looks like he's going to get a victory. Finally, be out in the STB Racing League here in Canada. Puts a lot of practice into these races, so it's um, definitely paid off this week. But penalties could play a factor. Coming through the chicane then. Urban Unicorn comes across the line to provisionally win. The Canadian Grand Prix second will be Fusion. And in fact, Fusion will win the Canadian Grand Prix. Your race winner, Tossex Fusion. He wins. And that is going to prove vital in the championship. Still though, all to play for for P3. Who's going to get it? Buckley or IS Hamilton? Buckley there. P3 for him. IS Hamilton. Is he going to get P3 or is he going to stay in P4? P4 for IS Hamilton. 44. Unlucky for him. Eke will get in a P5. Mercury then. Coming round the chicane. He's had a few issues this season. But he's had a decent Canadian Grand Prix. Not the best. But he comes home in P6. He's going to be happy with that. 7th Matty. 8th Matty. 7th will be IS Leclerc. And then AOR Andrew. Will be the final one to cross the line. And he will finish in P7 actually. So a few penalties there have dropped down the drivers. From their normal positions. But this is now your podium celebrations. For the Canadian Grand Prix. That concludes then your Canadian Grand Prix and those penalties are absolutely insane. Your race winner, Tossex Fusion, second will be Urban Unicorn, third born Buckley, fourth Ice Hamilton, 44. Fifth will be Eke, sixth will be Alaris Mercury, seventh AOR Andrew, decent debut for him. Eighth will be Ice the Claire, 16, ninth STB Matty, tenth will be Ice Raisin. Eleventh will be Danny's VKK, twelfth will be DJ Danny. Your retirements, Bullseye 403, Junior Fastboy, French Street GTA, Beloru. BSR Koshmania and G22. So that then is your Canadian Grand Prix live from the circuit Gilles Villeneuve in Montreal. What a race that was. Uh, full of action. Full of just incredible battles all over the field. A few collisions. But... It wasn't a bad race for most drivers. We're now, though, going to speak to your podium finishers. Um, who were, I believe, Tussex Fusion, Urban Unicorn. We're going to get them into the party now. And Bourne Buckley. Yeah, Bourne Buckley was there, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, so we're going to get your podium finishers in the party now. Have a quick interview. Uh, I believe Urban Unicorn has no mic. I might be, I might uh, be mistaken, but if he doesn't, I'm sure he's happy, very happy with his result here this evening. So we're going to wait then for Bourne Buckley. Here he is. Um, okay, so Fusion and Bourne Buckley like include your audio. Uh, I yeah. believe Urban Unicorn has no mic. So he's going to try and get the interviews started now. I'm sure he's very happy though with his P2. Bourne Buckley then. We go to you. You wanted rain in Canada. You wanted a good mm -hmm. result in Canada. 
and you wanted a pretty calm race in Canada. You got all three. How are you feeling at the moment? Um, yeah, I'm feeling pumped after that race. Obviously, I went to the rain. The race was um, pretty slow and dry around here, so I was pretty much hoping for a race in the rain, and I got it. Um, if I maybe didn't bottle it in qualifying the world champions then maybe if i would have qualified a bit higher then i may i might have you know challenged with fusion urban and stuff like that but for now i'm happy with p3 and i'll take that result yeah. moving forward to the france thank you um we seen drivers go on to the full wets what was that um did that gain people time did that lose people time what, what what's your thoughts on that um, I think, I, me personally, I think I went on to it a bit too early, like one lap early maybe. Um, okay. But I don't think I would have gained anything on, on, on Hamilton, but for some reason he made two stops. And that really, yeah, I don't know what, few, what he, he was doing pieces, there. So he had, he had some front wing damage that he had to repair. Okay. Okay. So um, but yeah. still, That's... well, Buckley, great result for you. P3, I'm sure you'll be happy going into next week's French Grand Prix that you've practiced quite a lot for, so I'm sure you'll do a great job there. Uh, second then was Urban Unicorn. Unfortunately, he has no mic, uh, but I'm sure he's very happy with his uh, performance here in Canada. Unlucky for him, losing P1. Uh, he was leading the whole race to Titans Fusion, but that's why you don't corner cut. Your race winner then, uh, Titans Fusion. Mm -hmm. uh, you was pretty yes. much running around the P4, P3. Uh, section the whole you know the whole race um you yeah. have won from penalties how does it feel to have won the race yeah. by being consistent once again uh yeah it was a uh, it was actually quite a fun race because a uh, wet race is always fun she always just on the limit the whole time and yeah, uh definitely. qualifying didn't go too well but that was because i i uh i loaded up a wet setup so i wasn't expecting pole at all and uh, turn one was a bit messy. I think about forced down to like sixth or seventh at one point. Then, uh, yeah, it was just a matter of just keeping it clean, not trying to cut corners. I still got six seconds of penalties, but yeah, luckily yeah, it was enough it's to very still. Hard not to cut corners. It's you know Canada, so yeah. obviously. Um, yeah. Yeah. I still um, got like less to win the race, so. Okay. Well, yeah, great, great victory for you, and that's definitely uh, got you a good amount of points for the championship. Uh, going in yeah. to France, obviously your rival Ayers Hamilton will go into his home race. Uh, is that pressure for you <laughs> to, because uh, you know he's going to be, he's going to be properly on it. Is, is that pressure for um, you? No, I'd say the pressure's more on him because it's his home race. So he'd be the one that's sort of like under the pressure to win. Okay. So I'm well, kind of like the underdog in the situation, I'd say. What's your thoughts on the circuit pull Ricard? Is that going to offer yeah, battles or it's... is it... A race where you think it's yeah. a little bit boring. I think it's going to be a good race because it's quite a long stretched out track. There's quite a lot of straights and there's quite a lot of heavy braking zones as well. I'd say so. You can there's definitely time to gain the straights and definitely ways you can sort of maybe go for a move up the inside or the outside okay. around that track. Well, we'll see how you do next week in France. So um, well done then to your podium finishers: Classics Fusion, Urban Unicorn, and Born Buckley. That concludes then this evening's Canadian Grand Prix of the STB Racing League Season 13 World Championship. Thank you ever so much for joining us this evening for this race. But next week we go to a circuit, to a country we've never been to in STB before. We go to the country of France. To the Le Castellet in Paul Ricard in France. The circuit, Paul Ricard, will host the first ever STB French Grand Prix next week for round eight of the season. We'll join um, the action from France next week. But until then, we'll see you next week for the STB Racing League Season 13 French Grand Prix. We'll see you next week. <laughs>